This is the Football Radio Show Sunday Six Pack. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Six Pack. We crack open six of the tastiest stories in the NFL. Casey, mm, mm. not too bad. Mm-hmm. Could be Depends better. Could be better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Casey, we'll Number get it started six. though with the Seahawks at the Arizona Cardinals. Hawks win this one, twenty-two to sixteen. Yeah, dude, color rush jerseys. Tight, loved Arizona. Highlighter As, green. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's like that extra chewing gum. <laughs> However, the game, ugly, dude. Yeah. Neither team could run in this game, so that yeah. put it on the quarterbacks. So if you got Stanton and Russell Wilson, I'm going dangerous every time. Yeah. Tight game, late in that game. Uh, Russell Wilson goes Fran Tarkin and spins around, pirouette, pirouette, <laughs> hits right. Doug Baldwin. He goes in, like gets him close. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ends up being the second touchdown for Jimmy Graham, but that was enough for the Seahawks, yep. and they squeak out an ugly win. And, dude, if you're not a fan of Thursday night football, you think it's too close, they don't get enough yep. rest, you're really not a fan now. Seahawks lose Richard Sherman and a ton of injuries for both teams. So I think this week we're going to hear a lot of feedback A lot of chirping out mm-hmm. of the chirpers. But you know what, Casey? They can fix this with that extra bye week. Easy, dude. Stretch that season out one more week. And fix this problem. We've been talking dude. about that for a while. Come on, yeah, get it right, NFL. All right, up next, it was the Cincinnati Bengals at the Tennessee Titans, and the Titans win a close one, baby, 24 20. Yeah, man, and this was a game where, that the Tennessee Titans did what they do. They ran the ball mm-hmm. well. It wasn't an overwhelming statistical game, but the tandem of Murray and Henry Murray. pounding the football there. Murray with two touchdowns, and a healthy Mariota really showing now, uh, running the football six times for 51 yards. He spread the ball around, had a lot of receivers with some productivity in this one. They overcome a, a fumble into the oh, end zone Corey by a rookie, Davis. Corey Davis. Brutal. Tough situation. Brutal. We thought it was going to cost him ultimately, uh, but they were able to overcome that and overcome big games from LaFell as well as A.J. Green. A.J. Green with a huge uh, 70-yard touchdown in this one. Big win, though, man. Big win. Yeah, since his season uh, was teetering on the edge, and I might think <laughs> <laughs> fell over, went over, 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 over <laughs> the Titans right in the mix, though, baby. Number Sweet. Four. No All right. Up next, it's the Minnesota Vikings at the Washington Redskins. Vikings win this one 38-30 to in a real good game. Yeah. Uh, Redskins start out. Maurice uh, Harris, doo-doo, boom, had a sick <laughs> touchdown. We're like, that's a TD. The rest didn't think so. They reviewed it. It was. We're like, Got it. Dude, we'll get it right. But then uh, Minnesota proceeded to be looking California for TDs, <laughs> built up a big first half lead. Case Keenum was playing great. Then he had two interceptions yeah, in the second half, and all of a sudden the skins were back in this yeah. thing. But just too big of a lead. They couldn't overcome it. And uh, the Vikings hold on after the saddest onside kick in the history <laughs> of football. Dude, that thing rolled about three yards. <laughs> so the Vikings hold on, man, and an impressive win. And uh, yeah, it's a quality Vikings football team. And just as we were complimenting Keenum as when he started. A so coffee. accurate. <laughs> but, hey, that's five in a row for the Vikings. Wow. They're a legitimate uh, legitimate contender going on Number here. Number three. All right, up next, it's our Los Angeles Chargers at the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the Jags won. Uh, they win this one in overtime, 20-17. to 17. <sighs> Yep. Both defenses played excellent football <laughs> here. Uh, Fournette and Gordon were basically neutralized yeah. in this one. They were both held to under 30 yards, and two of the, they're two excellent running backs, obviously. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars got it going with a big fake punt that resulted in like a 50-plus yard touchdown. That started the scoring. It was Austin Eckler undrafted. Of course rookie. it was. Yeah, for the Chargers. <laughs> not, uh, not Gordon, but Eckler with two big touchdown receptions. Nice moving on Eckler, but unfortunately he fumbled the ball at a critical time. This game featured like seven false endings, Casey. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, it was an interception by the Chargers. Looked like it was going to seal it, but there was too much time in the clock. They fumbled it back, the Eckler fumbler I was talking about. Looked like that fumble went into the end zone for a Jaguars touchdown. Mm-hmm. That was called off. Then the Chargers intercepted it again. And then the Jags got the ball back, put it into overtime, and in overtime, Rivers threw an interception that was converted into a touch, uh, field goal. None other than by Josh Lambeau, <sighs> former Charger kicker who we cut at the end of preseason. Boy, a tease for a happy ending and <laughs> no happy ending. Felt so like much a typical frustration. Charger story, <laughs> yeah. though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, LA falls to three and six, and the Jags sitting at six and three. Man, right. that defense is impressive for the Jaguars. Yeah, dude. and that's an impressive season that they've put together. So, looking for some big things out of the Jag squad. Yeah, all right. Hey, you know what else is impressive? Winning free stuff, and we're <laughs> teaming impressed. up with Skinny.com. 
And every week, we are giving away a free skin or case. And this week's winner is FlowMac59. Congratulations. You're getting a free NFL skin or case. Dave, tell the other people how they can get involved. Yeah, simply follow at SkinIt and at FootballRS and then retweet our tweet like crazy and you are in business. Yeah, and just to hook you guys up, we know Christmas is right around the corner. Use the FRS20 promo code and that is going to save you 20%. Sweet. Number totally two. sweet. All right, up next. And that's the end of the show. Okay, we'll see you guys next <laughs> we got week. one more for you, folks. Up next, it was your Dallas Cowboys going to Atlanta to play the Falcons, and the Falcons protect the nest in this one, Casey. They win this thing 27-7. to Yeah, started out great. I woke up in a great mood. <laughs> what the hell <laughs> Yeah, happened? Woods got an interception. Dak turned it into a quick touchdown, oh, yeah. and that would be it for the Cowboys scoring. Man. A couple big stars go out on this. Uh, Devontae Freeman, he leaves with the concussion for the Falcons. Sean Lee yeah. tweaked that hammy. He was out for the Cowboys, and the defense went downhill after that. Yeah. But the biggest star missing in this game, obviously, uh, the left tackle for the Cowboys, Tyron Smith. He didn't play in this game. And between uh, Chaz Green and Bell over there, they made Adrian Claiborne look like Reggie White, dude. This guy had six sacks That's in the game right. and a fumble. And the Cowboys never brought any help over there. Yeah. They just let, left that left tackle. Left tackle position. They finally benched him. Yeah, oh, that did a great job. It was a lit five <laughs> too sacks late. too late on there, and the Cowboys never could recover. Definitely missed Zeke in this game too. Couldn't yeah. get that run game going, but it was how they were dominated on the offensive line that was really yeah. the tale of this game, it, dude. It really was, and it's a big, uh, a really good sign for this Falcon squad that was sitting right there at four and four. Has played mediocre football, but they're sitting at four and four. They get this big win. They're right in the mix here. And when you look at the Cowboys in their division, that puts them one notch be- further back between that. I mean, the Eagles are way up there now. It's, that's, it, mm-hmm. Getting that division is pretty much out of the question, looking at a wild card. Yeah, the Eagles are on a bye this week, and they sit back and watch all the teams <sighs> in the East lose. But you know what? At least we're not the Giants. <laughs> that's right. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a bright side. All right. Total football domination for fantasy, dude. Let's get it started. Los Angeles Rams, baby. Jared Goff kicking total butt yeah. over 360 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, it's two weeks in a row, Goff, since I picked him up. He's crazy killer for me. All right, at running back, it's Mark Ingram, dude. 131 yards and three touchdowns for Ingram. And someone had to catch all those Jared Goff touchdowns. How about Robert Woods? 137 yards and two touchdowns. Nice. And then at tight end, it was Jimmy Graham. Jimmy. Just 27 yards, Casey, but How two did, touchdowns. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two touchdowns are getting him going there. Man, what a great week of football, Dave. Week 10 in the books. I got a couple final thoughts, though, Casey. Let's hear First it. of all, the Rams, as we mentioned, they put up those big numbers, and that's another win for our Los Angeles that's Rams. Right. Additionally, San Francisco off the schneid. Congratulations. They get hey, themselves a W. 2008 Detroit Lions are not popping corks yet. We still <laughs> got the Cleveland Browns out there. That's right. And, and then on a serious note, we want to thank all the, the veterans out there on this Veterans Day weekend. Yeah. Man, we appreciate all the work you guys do and the sacrifices that you make on our behalf. So uh, thank you very much. Absolutely. That is going to do it for the Sunday six-pack. He's Casey. I'm Dave. We are out of here.